Hi, so I'm back. And in the last video, we had a look at how we could change the appearance of our editor of the IDE. In this video, I want to, well, talk about another very important thing, navigating around in the IDE. There are a couple of ways to do this. And of course, there are quicker ones and slower ones. And generally, when coding, you want to be as quick as possible and not lose much time on searching for a file or a function declaration. So which options does PHP Storm offer you? Well, if you have a look at the navigate menu item here, you can see quite a lot. We have quite a lot of options available, though, of course, some of them will be used more often, some of them not as often. One of the most useful ones is Command Shift O, which allows you to type a file name. So let's say I want to access some controller. And then you get all these matching file names in your project. Now, since this is not very specific, let's let's open the like file, the like model file. And this will refer to this like file on the left. Now, if I hit enter, I open this file and I'm already there. So this is a very quick way to access this and to get to certain files. If you don't want to search for a file, but for a certain class, you would press almost the same combination, but not command shift O, but just command O. And now you may enter whichever class name you're looking for. So if it's the post class, you can open up the file, which is the post file in this case, but it is opened because it has the post class inside. Of course, you can also navigate around here in this tree folder or in this file, file tree and well, pick whichever file you want to open. And this is fine too, but keep in mind the other way is faster. And when working on a real project, you want to train this. It will save you some time. If you're in a file like this post controller, which has a lot of code or more code than fits on one, on one page at least, you can get a list of all the functions, for example, in or all the items generally in this file by pressing Command F12. And here you can see all the methods this controller has. And you can, of course, quickly jump to a method by just single clicking on it. So this is also a very quick way to navigate within a file and to find something in that file. Another way to quickly enter a file or create a new file, for example, is to press command up. This will also open this file tree, but navigatable with your arrow keys right inside your editor here. And now let's say I want to create a new controller. I could just select the controllers folder and then press control N to create a new file. And this would allow me to quickly create a new file inside, as you will see, no, not at this, inside this controllers folder. The same could be done by pressing Control N here, or of course, right click new file. And you may choose whichever way you prefer, but I really recommend practice with it. You will be faster. You will really be faster if you try to use the command or the keyboard commands as often as possible. Now, what is if you like to use a certain keyboard command, but you don't like the shortcut? Well, you can change this. So command comma brings you into the preferences and there you get the key map item. Here you can change every single shortcut which exists in PHP Storm. And you cannot only change each shortcut, you assign, can assign a shortcut to pretty much each actions you are able to do in this IDE. Now, as before, you are also able to search for specific actions here. So if you want to change something with navigate inside, you might type navigate here. However, this is still hard to find probably. So if you know you want to change a certain shortcut, let's say command F12 is too difficult to reach, you might click this magnifying class here. And then here you can enter the shortcut you want to change, command F12, for example. And this will search for the item which is brought up with the shortcut. And then you can just remove this to remove the shortcut and then add a new shortcut, whichever fits your needs more. 
Now, of course, if you use one which is already assigned to something else, you will get this warning here. And you may, of course, overwrite this and this will work. It will just remove this from the other items or actions. And you, of course, you should set the shortcut you want. And if this overrides the shortcut of another action, you have to decide, is this action important to you? If yes, pick another shortcut for it. If no, well then, no damage is caused. And with these shortcuts and the possibility to change them and to adjust them to your needs, you are able to quickly navigate between files, classes inside a file, create new files between the different folder structures. And that really are the most important things here.